Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's nighttime episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. We've got no camera person with us today, it's just Antonio and I, so we're going to be manning the cameras tonight. But I do have the boatless angler with me and today we are boatless and we're fishing one of America's true pastime areas which is fishing off a dock. And we're going to fish off a dock and we're going to be targeting channel catfish tonight. We're going to be using fresh cut sucker that we just caught the other day and we're hoping to get into some channel cats. And the rig I'm using today folks, I've got a, uh, a T-turn tied on and I've put on a sliding sinker on the T-turn and then off the T-turn I've tied one hook off the one link of the T-turn and another hook off the other. So it's going to be a two hook rig off this T-turn. So I'm going to run two pieces of cut bait and then as a backup, in case that gets snagged up, I have another rod ready to go, also with a T-turn, down to a sinker, the traditional way, and then off to a hook down here. So just in case I need, I've got a second rod ready to go. And because we're fishing off a dock, we are also prepared, because we're a little bit higher. I've got my extended net with me here, and we're going to use this net, hopefully to land some fish. There's a couple more boats still to come in, I see, with the trailers on the, in the parking lot. But once those boats are gone, things should quiet up and we're hoping to get into some nice fish. So stay tuned, folks. We're going to have a couple hours of evening fishing here ahead of us and hopefully get into some nice fish. Oh, folks, I've got to tell you, I thought I hooked in the bottom. It's not the bottom. I got myself a nice channel cat. I honestly thought I was snagged up. Oh, and that was one of the good things. The reason why I'm running that sliding sinker rig with two hooks is because I actually felt some bites. Oh, he's tugging, uh-oh. I loosened up my drag. I actually felt some bites and I didn't pull. And I think what happened, he took my one bait and, uh, and I had my second bait there, which I ended up I think that's what I got them on. We're going to find out when I, hopefully when I land them. <laughs> but that was a, it was a really nice bite. Oh, come on, Mr. Catfish. Big, heavy fish. And it looks like we got another boat coming in. That's okay. Uh, we got one boat left. Uh, one boat just pulled out. There's one, one more trailer left in the parking lot. And that might be him coming in right now. With any luck, I'll get this catfish in before he gets there. This guy is really, oh, there he is there. There he is right there. There he is right there. Oh, it's a nice channel cat. Oh, there he is. Okay, this is where my extended net is gonna come in handy. Right here, folks. Yes, one-handed. Oh, it's heavy too. That's a nice channel cat. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, here, look at this, folks. I got to show you this. Look at that. That's one bear hook. I thought he took my first bait, and I waited, and I waited, and I gave him a chance, and he found my second bait. That's the advantage of the two hook. You run the risk of getting snagged, but look at this. Wow, a nice big old gray channel cat. Oh, he's, he's not finished yet. Uh, he is not finished yet. There is one nice channel cat right there. Late evening bite. Beautiful. Nice channel cat. Good hook set. Let's get him back in. Gonna let him go right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a quick, quick release. He wanted to get back. That's one real nice channel cat right there. The hooks I'm using, uh, I'm running a five odd hook. It's got a nice big hook gap to it. So it accommodates the cut bait real, real nice. And it also leaves some, some good hook gap there for setting the hook. I'm gonna re-rig with some more fresh cut sucker. See if we can hook into another one. But honestly, my night has been made already. That one fish just made my evening. Well, we got ourselves hooked into another one and you're not gonna believe this, folks. What do you think, Antonio? Antonio's <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the line tight. I've got one too. Antonio's got one on and I've got one on and we got no cameraman. <laughs> So this is going to be very interesting. Let's keep your line tight, Antonio. I set the hook in the mine. Antonio went to grab the camera. And when he went to grab the camera, he noticed his rod was going. <laughs> so he set 
gets a hook on his, and now we got a double header. But in all fairness, Antonio, mine struck first. That's true, that's true. Okay, let me see if I can get this one in. It feels like another big channel cat, folks. This nighttime channel cat fishing is unbelievable. And you know what? There's two docks here. And unlike bass fishing, if we were bass fishing, oh, Antonio would have went on one dock and I would have went on the other dock. But because we're fishing for channel cats, we want to fish in the same area. So we're both casting out in the same area because Oh, oh. <laughs> we're all casting out in the same area because we're scenting the area up. With both of us casting out there, we're causing great scent in the area. There he is. And it's attracting fish and it's another nice channel cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is going to be... Uh, I'm telling you, are you sure it's not one channel cat? I think it's my channel cat that's just crossed your line. Totally possible. I think that's what it is. Hang on. Oh my. If I can get him. Oh, in the net. There we go. Oh, it's another heavy one. Holy moly. Wow. Nice. It's bigger than the other one. Is yours still on or no? I, I. It's definitely tangled with yours. Yeah, so that's what happened. That's what happened, folks. I had hooked into my fish, and because we're fishing so close together, he obviously crossed Antonio's line and it looked like he had, a, had one on as well, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. Another good hook set right in the side of the mouth, just like the other one. Oh, <laughs> come on out of there. They got a, oh, there we go. Okay, this folks is a nicer, oh. This one is bigger than that last one. Not by much, but he's thicker, wow. <laughs> there's, there's one nice channel catfish right there. That's a dandy. This is unbelievable. We've only been out here for about an hour. And you could hear, hear the banging in the background. That popping sound. That is the Niagara Falls shooting fireworks off. So you could tell it's 10 o'clock right now and we haven't been fishing that long. But what a beautiful channel cat. A little bigger than the other one. And he's good and heavy too. I don't know. He's a... I'm going to say... 15 pounds, 12, 13, 15, somewhere in that neighborhood. But what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Too bad, I thought that would have been great if we did have that double header, Antonio, but there would have sure been a challenge. Anyhow, I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Let's get him in. Let's let him in here in the shallow water here. Let's see if we can get him and release him in here. Okay, ready, Mr. Channel? Goodbye. And away he goes. Wow. This is unbelievable fishing, folks. The beauty of it, had a nice dinner. I told my wife, Antonio and I are gonna step out just for a couple hours. I'd be back in time for tea, and you know what, it's gonna happen. What a way to spend an hour or two in the evening. This has been great. If you get an opportunity, docks are plentiful, fish off a dock. Nighttime, the catfish are very, very active. They come out, they bite. You can, they bite during the day as well, but at nighttime, they're very active and as you can see you can get into some really nice fish as we are today. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips and as always until next time good luck and good fishing. All the short head red horse sucker they got a real real short stout head to them funny kind of name but these make a fantastic bait for channel catfish. <laughs>